Hello everyone. This video I am making specifically for people that create curriculum using Genially and you use Koala Go and I'll tell you why. So first of all, this could be for curriculum creators that sell their curriculum or just somebody like me who might use Genially to make my own slides for my personal independent students. But the reason I'm talking about Koala Go specifically is because Koala Go allows that interactivity with Genially so the student can drag and drop and click that they can't do on other platforms. That's why so many teachers and curriculum creators are using Genially for that interactivity. But a lot of people realized early on with Koala Go and that there is one slight little problem that has come up. So with Genially and how the slides are made by default is with those automatic buttons to change slides. And what comes with that is the ability to swipe on an iPad or tablet to change slides or with a keyboard using the left and right arrow keys on a keyboard to change slides. So just like if you have an iPad and you use your finger to swipe to change these slides, it's the same thing with Genially. The student, when they're trying to, let's say, drag a word or a picture, and if they miss that word or picture, instead of dragging that picture or word, they're accidentally changing the entire slide, ah, which can be a big hassle. And that only really happens when the words are like on the right or left and they're dragging them to the center because that's how you change slides. If the words are on the top or bottom or in the middle, I don't have any problems with the students accidentally changing the slides. And myself and a lot of teachers and curriculum creators emailed Genially about this problem asking, what do we do to fix this? How do we turn this off? And we all pretty much received the same email back saying, there is no simple on off button, but there is a solution. So today I decided to play around with Genially because I was thinking, well, I do use PowerPoint with some of my students. I use Learnaling, which also uses Genially. I use Learnaling with my students, but I don't create those myself. But I was thinking I could create some of my own lessons for a few of my students that I do like reading A to Z with. So I decided to test out what Genially told us was the solution to remove that swiping ability for students on iPads to change the slides. I wanted to see how difficult is it going to be if I wanted to do this or if curriculum creators wanted to go back and change how they created their slides. And I did find it, it's not very as difficult as I thought, it is a little time consuming, but it's actually a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. So let me show you with just a basic blank template that I have here if you're interested in how to turn off that swipe to change slide feature. So first of all, when you first go into a Genially slide, it is automatically set to this mode. So if you go to navigation, it's gonna be set to standard. That is that mode that has those automatic arrows to go forward and backwards. And I'll show you what that looks like. If you're familiar with Genially, you've seen this before. That's this little automatic next page button that the creator does not have to add those themselves, and that's why they like it, because it's automatically done for them. So they can go forward and backwards without having to create any buttons. But that also creates that issue with the swiping and my keyboard, which I like, because now I can use my keyboard to go back and forth with the slides. But I really don't want my students on the iPad to accidentally change the slide by swiping away from the picture or where they're trying to drag. So how do I change that? So I'm gonna go back to this little pullout tab here and under navigation, you're going to click on microsite. So it even tells you all the indicators telling you to go forward or back will disappear. Navigate between pages through the option interactivity. And then there's that little symbol, the next page symbol, go to page. It's ideal for guides, quizzes, and games, and teaching on Koala Go. <laughs> so I'm going to choose the microsite, but now I have to add these buttons. I already did this one, so you can see what it looks like, but I'm gonna show you how to add those to the pages. 
So I'm going to go to my blank page here. So you go to interactive elements on the left. There's those little arrows. I'll do my forward first. I'm just going to put it over here. And then I'm going to click on this interactivity button. Go to page, next page, because that's what I wanted to go to. And save. But the best part that's actually a time saver if you wanted to do this, you don't have to do that on every single page. If you have all of your pages created, all you have to do is either right click, copy, or just use your command, control C to copy, go to the next page here, control V, and voila, the button's already there where I want it. And the interactivity is already set. Next page, control V, voila, it's there. Same thing with my next page, and it's already done. So it does save you time being able to copy and paste. You only have to do it the first slide and then copy and paste the remaining slides. Now the previous, do the same thing, put it where I want it, interactivity, go to page, and this time I want previous page, of course, save. Going to control copy, go back through, control V, control V, control V, and I'm done. Of course, that was only five slides compared to some of our lessons that are 20, 30 plus slides. It will take a little bit more time, but it's actually pretty fast if you can just copy and paste those buttons. So now I'm going to preview. So I cannot use my keyboard. I'm trying to hit the left, right button on my keyboard. That doesn't work anymore, which also means students on an iPad, if they try to swipe, it will not change the page. So now I have to click on the button. So that's important. If you miss a button on a page, you're in trouble. You can't change the slide. So it's important to make sure you have a button on every page. So now I have to click the button to go to the next page. And I can click and you can see even though I copied and pasted, they are all working correctly. And that's the last page. So I go back, back, back. And my arrows on my keyboard don't work, but that helps our students be able to drag those interactive features without accidentally swiping to the next slide. So hopefully this will help some curriculum creators or just regular teachers that use Genially kind of see what the reality would be if you wanted to do this or try this so your teachers or yourself can use Genially on Koala Go without having that little issue of the students accidentally swiping. If it's too much work, if you have hundreds and hundreds of lessons, it's probably going to be too much work to go back and fix, but it might be a possibility for creating lessons going forward. So hopefully this helps somebody. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm actually kind of excited now to try out using Genially myself. Bye everyone.